eyes of Texas are on Barton Simmons as we start another episode of Barton Mix Fix. I'm Trey Scott. Hey, Barton. Today, you're going to tell us game by game, week by week, what's in store for the Texas Longhorns in year three under Tom Herman. Your My Texas, Texas Longhorns. Longhorns. Yeah. I'm hoping we're going to end with a playoff appearance, so uh, let's give me some good news off the bat. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, a lot of playoff talk. A lot yeah. of dark horse, you know, value playoff pick talk here. And why not? They beat Georgia last year. They're the, one of two teams to beat Oklahoma. Yeah, uh, I, I I think it could be a pretty special well, season we're gonna in Austin. Well, we're going to find out quickly. And they have to win the opener. They've never done that under Tom Herman. What do you think? Is that right? Yep, 0-2 okay. oh against Maryland. Well, break that streak. <laughs> All right, right. 1-0. You beat Louisiana Tech. Now for the better team from Louisiana. LSU comes to town week two. Yeah. Big party. I mean, this is very much a toss-up game to me. Uh, I think the, the idea of Tom Herman being a coaching mismatch is a little bit negated by Dave Aranda being really good on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, I, I think that at this point in the season, look, I know that this Texas defense lost some starters, but they do have a lot of talent coming back. That said, I think LSU has one of the most talented rosters in all of college football, a top five roster. Uh, Texas might be there in another year or so recruiting. Not yet. I'm giving the slight nod here to LSU. I have a few things to say about that, but I'm going to save them. We're one and one, you play Rice in Houston, neutral site game. Oh, it's at NRG. Two and one. Yes. Oklahoma State lost to the Cowboys last year. This is always a tough one for Texas. Yeah, it is. But I really think Oklahoma State is as good as their quarterback play. And I'm not convinced that they've got a uh, quarterback that's going to elevate them to this kind of a win. Mm -hmm. We know Texas does. I, I think Sam Ellinger takes care of business, then they, then they win here. Three and one, bye week at West Virginia, a retooling West Virginia team. Yeah, do we need to spend much time no, with we West don't. Virginia? No, because I think let, that's a W. Because there's the game I want to talk about. Yeah. Oklahoma, Red River shootout. I'll be there taking my dad. Are we going to see a win? Man, I'm, I hope so for you and your dad's sake. That's going to be a great bonding time, <laughs> father son. Uh, well, look, I think Oklahoma is college football playoff worthy once again. They will be a lot better defensively, I think. I think Alex Grinch is the real deal. Uh, offensively, it'll be the same as always. Yeah. Here, here's what I like about the matchup for Texas, is they're so athletic in the secondary. Even if they're a little inexperienced, they're just so athletic. And I think that there's possibility and opportunity to, to make some plays. I mean, Caden Stearns is a, a true freshman, made one of the biggest plays in the game last year, a couple of them. Yeah. And he's getting joined by a bunch of back-end speedsters of his ilk. Yeah. B.J. Foster, Jalen Green, Anthony Cook, DeMarvion Overshin, Deshaun Jameson. These guys, These guys are, are too young. good to fail. And you still got Brandon Jones, too. So that's a win? I'm actually going to go. They make enough plays. They turn it over enough. And, and Sam Ellinger is built for this game yes, in terms yes. of ball control. Yes, yes, I like Texas in the matchup. Sam's game, Megan Heisman pushed 5-1. and one, Play Kansas. Hope it's not a letdown game here. Uh, that is a letdown <laughs> opportunity. But you can let down and still win against Kansas. So there you go. W. At TCU. This should be this should be tough. I think TCU is pretty good. Yep. I love their running backs. Uh, I love Jalen Rager at receiver. They've got a quarterback that won't turn the ball over, and Alex Delton. Now, is he going to elevate you? No, but he's not going to turn the ball over. And TCU's defense is so good under Gary Patterson that that's probably enough. Again, we're just a couple weeks removed from this big feel-good moment against Oklahoma. I think TCU is is upset minded here and wins. I understand that. Six and two, you got to buy. Kansas State's coming to Austin. You know, the, the book on Tom Herman's teams in the last two years has been he gets up for the big games, yep. doesn't get up for the small games. Kansas State feels like a game you definitely could lose. No doubt. No doubt. And, uh, and you know, there's going to be a big target on Texas's back for that one. Uh, Chris Kleiman will be looking for a signature win or two somewhere along the way in his first season. Uh, but I don't see it. I, I just think that uh, this is. Because of the leadership they're going to have at quarterback, I think they're going to be focused for this type of opportunity. So they, they win there. 7-2. and two, The next two games are keeping me up at night at Iowa State. November in Ames. Ames in November. Yeah, look, they, they, uh, I, I think in this type of game, you need big plays. You can't just grind it out with Sam Ellinger. You, you, need, you need Colin Johnson to go make a big play on the perimeter. Uh, you know, maybe the Keontae Ingram or, or Jordan Whittington yeah. starts to get it rolling in the run game. Uh, and, and I think defensively, at this point, I think probably, you know, we're no longer this green defense. Like, it's the talent is, is arriving. Uh, so, I think Iowa State's a 10 to 2 team. They're probably, this is, this is like a game day type of game. Like, this is, I think Texas wins a really quality game against a quality opponent. 8 and 2. You got to follow that up with a trip to Waco. 
This is dangerous. Yes, it's very dangerous. Right? Um, Two Austin area quarterbacks dueling against each other. Played close last season. Yeah. Baylor hates Texas. Texas hates Baylor. And, and I think Baylor is another one of these teams that is similar to Iowa State in that they're going to be really competent. Um, they're going to take a step forward under Matt Rule. And this, again, man, the, the flagship state school coming to your place, scoring a big upset. I think Baylor figures out a way to pull this one out. I think, I think – uh, are you serious? Yeah, I think there's a loss. Sorry. Are you serious? <laughs> you didn't see that one No, coming. I didn't see that coming at all. Loss. Sorry. Uh, day after Thanksgiving, Texas Tech, this should be an easy one. You've, you've ruined my day, but just tell me it's a win. It's a win. It's a 9-3. and three. Go, I don't know, maybe they'll beat Georgia in the Sugar Bowl or something. I don't know. They probably will. <laughs> Good season. Congrats.